Yeah, very good. So this is one where it look, at low power, you can see the difference in the texture of the dermal collagen. There is scar-like dense collagen that's packed closely together with increased vascularity, forming a big band here along the whole of the superficial dermis and then the normal collagen underneath it. And so the one differential would be, is this a scar like from a previous biopsy? But that would, it's pretty big, right? That would have to be a very broad shave to have left a scar that big. But sometimes it can be impossible to tell regression in a melanoma um, apart from, or, or other melanocytic lesions like nevi can sometimes regress too. But um, sometimes it's very difficult or impossible to tell scar and, and regression apart. So kind of uh, history is often uh, helpful there. And also we can have some other clues. In this case, uh, even though there's a lot of dermal regression change, we also still have residual melanoma. We can see atypical melanocytes in the epidermis with confluent growth along the basal layer. There is extension, confluent extension down ad nexa. So going all the way down this hair follicle and into the sebaceous gland, these are atypical melanocytes right here all along there. Also atypical melanocytes going down this eccrine duct. So sometimes that's really helpful. Sometimes if the epidermis doesn't have much uh, melanocytic activity, looking in adnexal structures can be a helpful clue uh, to whether or not you have confluence. And this patient probably was a little bit older and had some sun damage. So their solar elastosis has been pushed down by the, the uh, collagen up here. And I like that you brought that up, Li-Ping, because that is a really important clue uh, in sun damage patients. It doesn't work in people without sun damage, but in sun damage patients, if you see a bunch of scar-like tissue um, or a melanocytic proliferation that's atypical pushing elastic fibers down, that means it's new after the person got old and sun damaged. And new atypical melanocytic lesions that are thick and pushing down elastic fiber, that's a very worrisome thing in an old sun damaged person, right? Just like a melanocytic proliferation that's atypical with scar-like stuff pushing down collagen, that means something grew and pushed down the collagen and then regressed away. Those things are very concerning for melanoma. So the uh, Ben Wood uh, from Australia, a really great derm path and a, a really a brilliant teacher. He uh, has, uh, uh, and uh, his colleague Nathan Harvey, they coined this term, uh, the the um, umbrella sign, or in this case, the lack of the umbrella sign. When you have a nevus in the dermis, like a, a congenital nevus that's been present since the person was a kid, and then they get old and sun damaged, the dermis underneath the, the thick nevus, it only works kind of for thicker nevi, but the dermis underneath doesn't have solar elastosis or has very little, as opposed to the adjacent skin, which usually has a lot. And that's because the, the nevus has acted like a little umbrella to keep the sun off and, and they haven't got elastosis. But if you get a new lesion, it pushes down the elastic fibers and in this case that we have that problem with regression too that the the new lesion has pushed down the elastic so we can tell all this is new in this case that there is no umbrella sign the the uh, dermis has not been shielded and it has elastosis underneath the process so that's a, a really nice uh fun and very useful diagnostic clue that i use in in practice so so i learned that from ben wood so here, out here at the edge, it looks a lot like a dysplastic nevus, and that's just a good reminder that melanomas can have a bridging and fibroplasia and have features that resemble dysplastic nevus sometimes. But here we've got atypia, pagetoid spread, confluence. We've got atypical nests in the dermis embedded within the regression right here. And sometimes when most of the lesion has regressed away, it's difficult or impossible to be sure if it was melanoma or not. Here, look, look at how much that looks like dysplastic nevus there. Scary, huh? So that is, uh, that's an important thing to be aware of why we need to see the whole lesion too. So uh, that is a melanoma with regression. Uh, this is a very dense uh, kind of regression in this case. In, in earlier regression, it, the collagen is more loose and mixed with pigment incontinence and inflammation, but sometimes it kind of gets dense and burns out and gets very dense and sclerotic and almost like, almost morphia-like, uh, if you will, not really, but so uh, just know that regression sometimes is this dense, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's much looser and more uh, inflamed and irregular. When it's dense like this, I think it becomes much more difficult to tell it apart from actual scar.